Well, as you can imagine, all that snow and ice makes it difficult to plan for the governor's fishing opener. This year will be on Green Lake and Spicer. WCCO's Bill Hudson found out how they're trying to get ready even without an ice out. Green Lake here in Spicer has more the appearance of winter than it does open water, but that's exactly what they'll need when they host the annual Minnesota Governor's Fishing Opener. Dock sections sit where they were stacked last fall, frozen to the ground, far from lining shorelines of a still ice covered lake. It's kind of one of those things where you make some plans and plan B and, and hope for the best. Brad Hansen's in the hot seat. As host committee co chair for the annual governor's fishing opener, he's watching the clock and wishing for open water. We got serious about it about three weeks ago and really wondered what was going to happen, especially with all the continuous storms that were coming in. And we knew we had to come up with a plan B. Green Lake is just three weeks from its latest ice out ever, May 8, 2013. That's the same year lakes around Park Rapids forced Governor Dayton to fish a river. If needed, they'll move to smaller lakes in the Wilmer Spicer area. We have a list of about six or eight other lakes that people are welcome to uh, go out and enjoy. Nice. Hosting fishing openers is big business in these small towns with picnics, parties, and a ton of publicity. Frozen or not, the host committee is making the most of it, promising a good time, whatever the conditions. Before we know it, we'll be fighting whitecaps and putting in our boats and lifts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dean and Laura Anfinson are lining up 110 boats for out of town guests, hoping they'll need them on a lake still sealed by two feet of solid ice. <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> It'll be here, whether it's in 1st of May or 1st of June, we'll be doing it. So what's needed and needed very soon is a lot of warm sunshine and wind to first melt and then move around all this ice. And nobody's praying for that more than the folks here in Spicer. On Green Lake, Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. The DNR has no reports of any ice-free lakes right now. Most Twin Cities lakes are about two weeks behind normal. You can track their status. Just go to WCCO.com links.